What's up guys, welcome back to Wrong and Strong. My name's JC, you already know. You know, I, today I got a, I was gonna drop another video, but something just happened and this is just how the world works. And I decided to do this one, but you know, this one ties into the whole, the whole story. You know, El Chapo, the twins, Cato, DMX, like everything. And this is what happens like when you build bonds and friendships uh, with real real motherfuckers on the streets this is this is how it goes down Cartel got me working for the big faces Federally got my car full of brick cases Hit the pen with a grin, there ain't no faking I was picked to my back for my shoelaces Got out, shoulda seen the look on they faces All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper Set up by the crew, they done put a banger In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there No thing, then attorney went and beat the case Got a job digging holes for minimum wage Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling Six times failing, I went back to prison Got my head right, got my bread right Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe Trying to do right, I got a mission Trying to get back to my boys in the prison The old me's gone, I ain't never gonna miss them From wrong to strong, stay true to the vision From wrong to, to strong From wrong to strong from wrong to, to strong From wrong to strong Yo, what's up, JC? Wrong is strong. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell so you don't miss nothing. If you are part of my Wrong and Strong crew, you already know. No horn today. Suan Burban. Let's get this show on the road. And we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about a very motivational one today, very inspiring, very, you know, on the streets, you know, either you build good bonds or bad ones, or you think you have a good one and it ends up being a bad one. I gotta say today I got two phone calls that just blessed me, opened up my heart and, and made me realize that I'm still doing work to this day. And, you know, it's it's my past coming back to haunt me, but in a good way. You know, before everything, before Cato, before, you know, all this stuff, you know, uh, there was a record label called the Nero Records that Cato ended up taking over. But the founder, Damien Cash, what's up, brother? He just came home from the feds just came home starting from ground zero zero you know uh, uh i get the phone call today and he's like yo what's up and this is somebody that back in the day you know i i i hustled i i i did i did things with you know and and we built a a friendship and a bond that you know we built a friendship that test of time, street, enemies, everything was part of. And today when he reached out to me and told me he came home, you know, uh, I felt very, very blessed to receive his call, to talk to him. Cause this is a person that knew me from back in the day. And to see how humble he did, he is, because this is a dude that had everything. He had the, the Rolexes, had the big rims, had the big cars, had, everything you know and he, and he started getting mixed in with a lot of big people big names you know the flores twins cato uh dmx uh i mean you name it everybody in the music music industry this kid's been doing music since he was 13 years old turntables everything but this is just you know what happens when you're on the street surviving and you start to surround yourself with people that have money and stuff like that it slowly pulls you in and that's the thing, man, you know, uh, a lot of people don't know the, the truth behind everything. And he was actually the founder of Dinero Records. Founder, founder, beginner, everything. So, you know, uh, um, 
built a relationship with this, with this dude over the years. And you know, uh, it's crazy how he reached out to me. He, he was tripping out because he said that his, uh, his girl was like, yo, you need to watch this dude. Uh, uh, he's, he's motivational. He puts videos out there about changing your past and blah, blah, blah. And he was like, yo, that's, that's, that's my boy, Chase. That's, he knows me by my government name, Julio. <laughs> so, you know, it, it's crazy how everything works when you're doing what's right. It's crazy how these ties, these friendships are all built. Then after that one, he tells me, yo, Prophet said, what's up? If you guys are not familiar, Prophet was one of the rappers on the record label that actually did a song on the soundtrack Cradle to the Grave with DMX, the soundtrack to the movie. That was another dude that I had built a relationship and a bond with throughout the years. Yes, I lost contact with a lot of people after, you know, I went in and moved to Arizona and, and, and you know, was doing willing and dealing and all my crazy shit, my addictions and everything that I was going through. But, you know, um, he left me a message on the phone because I was at the grocery store and an, another person, he first thing that comes out of his mouth, he says my government name. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people know my government name now, but back then, a lot of people didn't know my government name. If you knew my real name, it's because I, I was tight with you. <laughs> so, you know, I give him a call and just so blessed, man, so blessed to be able to have these friendships back in my life when we're all on the positive note again. You know what I mean? Uh, we, weren't, we weren't bad dudes. We were just doing what we had to do to survive in a jungle that's, you know, created around us growing up how we did on the south side of Chicago and just doing what we had to do, you know, to survive, whether that was wheeling, dealing, you know, selling music. Uh, we, I mean, you name it. And, and that's the thing is that we made it for a reason. And I'll never stop believing that because there's a lot of us that didn't make it. There's a lot of us doing life sentences. There's a lot of us that, you know, rest in peace, Cato, that, that didn't, didn't make it. And that's the thing is that you have to see that you're here today. Today is still a chance to change everything around you, about you, even your surrounding, who you hang around with, who you talk to, who you don't talk to. It's still a chance to change everything, man, because Second chances, sometimes fourth, third, fifth, like me, uh, he must have gave me like eight, nine chances, you know, in and out of prison for 17 years. I know it, it gets old that I tell you guys, you know, this, this stuff, but it doesn't get old because I'm reminding you that it could be you. It could be you doing that time. It could be you in that ground. It could be anybody, anybody. It's never too late to change, man. It's never too late to, to really, really, really fix everything. Like I, like I told Damien when he was on the phone with me, you know, I was blessed to be able to talk to him again and tell him that I'm his brother, that I'm here, whatever he needs. As long as we're all on the positive note, I'm here. You have a friend for life. You have a brother. You have family. I'm here. I got you. Prophet, you too, brother. It's, this is the thing is that I went through the fire, I came out, and I know that I'm here for a reason. I know, I know that I have a purpose. And, you know, there's, there's a million people that go, you know, speak to CEOs and rich people and all these motivational speakers and all that. But, you know, I want to be the one that goes back in the trenches and talks to dudes like me, talks to dudes like Prophet, talks to dudes like Damien, you know, that have been through the fire, been through through it all and seen it all and, and we're still standing here man still standing here solid ass dudes that's what I mean man it, it, sometimes you have to let life humble you in order for you to do what's right whether that's doing time losing somebody I know it's hard but the thing is that sometimes you have to let those hits on the chin make you a better person because if not 
then you're going to keep getting hit, keep getting hit. And guess what, man? You're going to be this old guy with no teeth, locked up, dead, or on the streets with that addiction, man. And, and it's crazy because life, life, life is beautiful. Life is beautiful, man. I am so happy today that I got to talk to these dudes. I'm so happy that I got to tell them that I care about them. I got to tell them that I, I, sh I shared with them what I'm doing, how I'm lifting weights, how what I do. It, it, was, it was a good, good day today. And I just wanted to share it with my wrong and strong family. Of course, I'll get more into details with it. You know, of course, I'm gonna have them on my show. You know, uh, it, I'm very, very happy. And I had to share it with you guys because you guys are part of my family. You guys are part of my growth. You guys are part of my change. You guys keep me motivated to do what's right, to lead by example, and to keep doing what I'm doing. My name's JC. I am Wrong and Strong. Don't judge nobody, stay in your lane, give somebody a hug, live savage, and you only have one life to live, but if you live it right, one life is all you need. Wrong and strong.